Time is running out, but if there, if, if there is agreement on the June, uh, in the Eurogroup meeting in May, in May uh, 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 then there will be enough time to, uh, to, uh, for us to activate the program and, 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 and for it to coincide with the remainder of the ESM program, which is by in August. But we really need agreement uh, uh, at, at, the, at, the, at the Eurogroup uh, next week. Now, of course, the IMF have repeatedly pointed out that any debt relief plan for Greece should be based on realistic assumptions. But, of course, they need to be provided with incentives to stick to the reform schedule. What are the, some of the assumptions or the conditions that you would need to see? So, you know, I, there have been a considerable narrow of differences in, 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 in recent months. Uh, uh, there are, they are some... Uh, Still, so, some some different assessments of of of, uh, of growth uh, over the over the medium term, but acknowledging that that this is an area where there is considerable uncertainty, we are discussing a mechanism for providing more debt relief in case the growth is weaker uh, uh, than our European partners ex 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 expect, and that, that that mechanism is being discussed uh, uh, right now. But I, I stress we have really narrow differences. Uh, quite, quite, quite a lot, uh, but there are, st are still a few issues outstanding. Uh, Argentina, of course, has been a lot in the headlines recently, and uh, uh, there's talk that they're agreeing with a, a credit line with the IMF. Based on your experience in Greece, what measures do you think Argentina needs to be focused on as a main priority in order to get uh, their finances back in order and also get the currency back in order? Look, this is... Uh, uh, well outside the European Department, I'm not sufficiently familiar with, with, with Argentina to, to really give advice on that. Uh, no, no problem on that one. But the other big country that people have been talking about as well that is within your remit is Turkey. There's been a big devaluation in the currency there. I just wonder how you see things panning out, particularly as they come, they're coming under pressure on the deficit side and also the currency now as well. Well, our advice to Turkey, I think, is... is uh, is, is well known. We think that uh, the, the Turk, Turkish economy has been growing very strongly. We think that it has been, uh, 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 you know, that, that it, it has been, been growing well above potential, in part because of stimulus that were pro provided then in, 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 in 16 and, and 17. We, we think it's, it's time to withdraw some of the stimulus to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to have some fiscal tightening. We also think, given that inflation is well above the target, it's time to, uh, 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 to, to, to tighten monetary policy. So this is, this is a, a long-standing advice of the fund, and I, I think uh, uh, that, that that advice uh, remains very appropriate in the current circumstances.